Welcome back to another art video. I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying my other art videos. Um, thanks for subscribing. We just hit, I think, like 120 subscribers. I know it doesn't seem a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it just, it baby steps, you know? I'm so happy how my little baby YouTube channel has grown, and it's thanks to you guys. Anywho, so I wanted to explore textured art again today using household items or even items found outside. So here we have the trusty spatula and we have some plastic spoons. I was going to say forks. I don't know why they are spoons. I have used this one before, as you can see. Um, I found some card as well, some corrugated card, and I stole this from my coffee cup yesterday. I thought this was pretty cool texture. And I also picked up some leaves because I wanted to see if it will actually come up on the filler. I thought this could be quite a cool pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my filler. This is the same one that I used last time, filler or speckling. Um, this is the last, the one that I used last time. It's still... It's doing all right, like it hasn't dried up. So this is good stuff. So first up we have the spatula, one of the most favorite tools. Ever for textured art, you can use it for vertical lines, which is very nice. I mean, even this, I think, is 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 really nice. Um, you can do it horizontally. It's it's one of those tools that you know you don't necessarily have to be talented in. It's just it's just a basic tool. It's like using a spoon to pick up your food. So this, I think, everyone knows about. Um, these you can pick up very cheap. This is just a plastic one. You don't really need anything fancy. Here, I'm going to use a spoon and there's different, I see that there's different types of textures that you can do, so I know there's one where it looks very scalloped. Maybe if I do it like this, you can just kind of make little grooves with your spoon. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. You could also use a fork as well to like create little lines. So I imagine when you have a fork, it will probably be something like this. As you can tell, I'm not a drawer. Um, yeah, so you make using forks with as a texture to make patterns is very cool. But I like I like the spoon. It makes it look quite scalloped, so that's quite nice. Um, card, corrugated card. So I wonder how this will turn out. Um, One thing I love about filler is that you can just leave it here for a few minutes and if you don't like the design, you can literally just start again. So with the card, maybe if we print it, I mean that's pretty cool. I also have this piece which I took from a box. Literally any packaging boxes you guys get, you could use this.
that would help. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. I also picked up these leaves from outside because it's autumn, fall, so there's loads of leaves to go around outside. I wanted to, s and I picked some leaves which had some really um, prominent ridges. So. Oh, that's nice. That is so cute. Look at that. Can you guys... Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. I like you. Okay. Last thing we have <laughs> is our hands. I mean, feel free to use your bare hands, but, you know, I don't really want to. So there is this artist. Um, I follow him on my Instagram. I'll, I'll leave his tag in in the video but he literally he uses his hands for everything and it's it's so mesmerizing and he's not afraid to get stuck in so he'll literally pour i don't know whether it's a uh, gesso or whether it's acrylic paint but he'll literally just pour it on and he'll just get really stuck in so i wanted to give it a go and what he did was just kind of ooh it gives you so much control. I feel like I'm just picking it off there. Oh wow, using your hands is such a good idea. Do you guys like that? I love that. Just kind of like mush it up. Yes. So we have hands, we have corrugated card, we have coffee cup sleeve, we have spoons, we have a bit of spatula and we have autumn leaves. I mean I like this piece, I think this piece is one of my favourite pieces so far and just find things around your house like anything that has texture on it, even, even a sponge because sometimes I do painting and um, you know when you just want it to have that nice spongy look so i love finding things around the house like anything my husband is trying to throw out i'll i'll look at it and be like oh can you keep that for me or when we're just out for a walk i'll just start picking up sticks or start picking up leaves like anything with texture is just so nice i mean i'm in love with the leaf print it's it's so nice if you guys are not following me already on instagram please follow me on all things grace and if you're someone who does any form of art or creates anything then please tag me i'd love to see what you guys are creating as well as much as you watch this video to find inspiration or find techniques i'm always on the lookout as well so it's not a case of i don't learn from anyone else i learn from everyone as well and i'd love to see you guys works so thanks again for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one